And we have a go for auto sequence start. T minus 17 seconds and count. All systems are go. Start. Two, one, boost ignition and lift off. It's time to charge up with Victor Pisano. Hey everybody, it's Victor Pisano and welcome to the PowerCast from Charge Up. This one's going to be short and sweet today. Just feel the need to get something out there. One of the most overused and cliche words that I've been hearing lately in business is the word culture. I hear CEOs and VPs from startups talking about their corporate culture. I read mission statements from new companies that are basically just opening, and they refer to their corporate culture. For me, a corporate culture, simply put, are values and behaviors that are going to contribute to the environment of the company. So with that in mind, you really don't open the doors and have a corporate culture. Sure, you start off with a core set of principles, and those are going to be the things you operate off of. You're going to establish a strong foundation of not only solid leadership, but talented and ambitious hires that buy into your concept. And then over time, your leadership team and those employees, they're going to establish the character and the reputation of the company. And then all of a sudden, without you doing anything, more than just being true to your values and core principles, a culture is born. That culture will define itself. You don't need an ad agency or a consultant to develop your culture. Your culture is going to come from the perception of the customer, the values of your employees, and most of all, the behaviors of your leadership. You let it grow organically. You can't force a corporate culture onto something that it's not going to be real. A culture is no different than a person's personality. It takes time to notice the subtle traits that make one person unique as opposed to another person. These things all take time, experience, relationships. They're going to take failure, successes, achievements, growth, reputation. But the key takeaway is it's going to take time to develop a corporate culture. Not a month, not a year, not even a couple of years. It's going to take experience. In and of itself, that's going to be a few years. So look, call it a mission statement, call it your core values, but don't use the term corporate culture. It devalues those companies that have genuinely earned one. However, do everything in your power as a leader to ensure that when the culture is established, it becomes one that's based off the reputation you have, that's built on the pride and hard work you've put in. Put that work in today for the rewards tomorrow. Be firm and unyielding on issues regarding integrity and character. Show gratitude. Foster an incredible work environment. You can do that by empowering people. Make them feel valued. Go above and beyond with every single customer experience. Never settle for mediocrity. Always strive for perfection. You'll appreciate the culture that comes organically as opposed to the one pitched by a consultant because it'll be an authentic representation of who you really are. So remember, leadership is a privilege. Go do big things today and make a difference. And don't forget, my friends, charge up. Roger, we'll stop. That was a picture-perfect end to a top fuel mission. Everybody, welcome back to Earth. Thanks for listening to Charge Up with Victor Pisano. Subscribe to the podcast at chargeuptoday.com.